Hey guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. So excited to be here. We're in Nambung, two hours north of Perth. Today I'm shooting on the Fujifilm X100F, which is a beautiful little compact camera. I'm gonna be shooting the Aussie Outback. We're on a farm. These are straight signs. Shooting a lot of greens, a lot of oranges. I just can't wait. Let's go, let's get in the car. We'll go for a drive and explore, eh? Oh, I'm so excited, guys. You've got no idea. Let's go. We haven't gotten very far at all. I don't know why I'm whispering. Because we're in the Aussie Outback. We can be loud. This is iconic. This is pretty much the main roads that are out here, apart from the red gravel ones. And these head straight to the beach. I might try and get a shot of that, and also this water tower just on the right. Dead tree on the left. So it shows the viewer where to look in the photo. So I am overexposing because this camera tends to underexpose some images by, I want to say like one or two stops. I don't know how or what I'm going to shoot yet, but there's just so much here that is iconic Australian. Like these signs, get the windmill in the middle of the frame, road on the left and sign on the right. Oh yeah. This is one of the many shots I wanted to get today. Just a road. Just a road. But I just love that. It's so symmetrical. You guys know if you've tuned along. You know I love symmetry. Just wrapped up shooting on the Fujifilm X100F and I had, I had a great time. I've always wanted a point and shoot that I can just take with me everywhere and not have to worry about changing a lot of settings and you know having to burn three rolls of film and then get it developed and whatnot. Another thing I love about this camera is that it's got the Fujifilm film simulations in, um, built into it, which is great. Uh, at the moment I'm shooting the classic chrome simulation, which for me is perfect because that is the look I tend to edit my photos towards anyway. Something to be wary of is the fact that it is a fixed lens. So today I shot predominantly landscapes because I wasn't able to get that close to a subject if I needed to. Thanks for hanging around and hopefully more vlogs with this camera to come. And hey, have a great day.